Um, Senator, you were critical of Governor Malloy's establishment of um, a park at Seaside. And um, I wonder if you now support the administration's plans to solicit uh, uh, an investor to, to, uh, to put money and rehabilitate those buildings and to operate a large uh, a lodge there that might to create a uh, new revenue. Well, thank you. I think it goes to the completion of my last answer. Uh, you know, that was, uh, in my view, a, a, a play that shouldn't have happened. Uh, that seaside had been in disrepair for a decade or more uh, before uh, I decided to run. Uh, for the state senate. It was during my campaign that the governor decided to make that a park. Uh, and yes, I was critical because the town of Waterford would have received uh, property tax uh, dollars as a result of the plan that was on the table. Uh, the mental health and those most vulnerable were due to receive dollars uh, as a result of that plan, $8 million, I believe. Uh, and that was all scuttled uh, for a park that uh, 18 months later and tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars in study by the state uh, determined that, yes, we need to do almost the exact same plan that was on the table before. Uh, I don't think the state needs to be in that business. Uh, I think we turn it over to developers, allow them to do it. The developer had an opportunity for a park along the waterfront as well as the commercial operation that you indicated. All right. Um, uh, Mr. Hanowitz, you have... 90 seconds to address your views on Seaside and the current plan for that facility. Uh, so, so I agree with uh, Seaside of where, um, well, with Paul on Seaside of where allowing uh, development to go on within the business while still keeping a park there, while still keeping the, the scenery available to, to everyone involved uh, is definitely beneficial. And it's, it's the fact that we need to get uh, a lot of this non-taxable pilot funding uh, off the off of the, the state dollars and actually receiving tax dollars for a lot of this land. Um, we know that pilot funding is not adequate enough. Uh, and I think that having that kind of uh, tax role uh, access, I guess, uh, would have been beneficial, especially with that million dollar loss in education funding. Uh, you have another 30 seconds, Mr. Famica. Would you? Would you go so far as to try to put some legislative legislative roadblock into the into the way of the current plan, or uh, are, you, are you just going to let the executive branch play it out? Well, I think they know my opinion on the matter, so I don't know. We'll let them play it out like that. Uh, listen, a DEP's budget uh, was cut two million dollars for park operations. Uh, most of that came in uh, jobs that were lost and services that were provided. Um, if we can't fund the necessary personnel for the parks that we have, why are we opening up a new park for something like that? Why are we spending capital dollars? Why are we bonding? Why are we spending dollars on consultants when we all know that the answer is not uh, having the state involved in doing business? Let the business community take care of that. All right, thank you. And next question is to Mr. Hanowitz. 